Kotaro Uchikoshi is doubtlessly one of the most, if not the most, recognizable name in the niche corner of otaku culture that is the Western visual novel fandom. He is an auteur with a distinctly scholarly and contemplative style of scenario and character writing, interleaving deep, professorial monologues on philosophical, scientific, and technological concepts with robust and intriguing characters and labyrinthine mystery narratives. Though the Zero Escape line of games is what made Uchikoshi a household name in the international VN scene, he also serves, among other positions, as the mastermind behind 2019's sleeper murder mystery adventure game I, The Somnium Files. And with its sequel, Nirvana Initiative, set to release in 2022, we pause to take a look back at one of the medium's most beloved creators. Kotaro Uchikoshi was born in the early 70s, in a town on the western outskirts of Tokyo. In contrast to most game developers, growing up, Uchikoshi found himself gravitating not towards floppy disk-based PC games of the era, but more towards choose-your-own-adventure-style novels, something that would prove formative in terms of his propensity for adventure games over more traditional genres within the broader medium of gaming. His childhood and adolescence were also marked by intellectual curiosity, as he cites a keen interest in the works of Western psychoanalysts Freud and Jung even at an early age. After graduating high school, Uchikoshi attended college but would ultimately drop out, comparing the experience to a factory for churning out maximally productive workers, and opted to enroll at a vocational school for game design. There, he had a similarly negative experience, finding the material lackluster and uninspired, prompting him to leave and join Studio Kid in 1998, a software house which specialized in bishoujo games as well as ports of board games to home consoles, specifically the Sony PlayStation. Uchikoshi's first position at KID was that of a 3D modeler for the quirky and absurdist action game Pepsi Man, but he was quickly able to transition to exercising his writing chops with his scenario writing debut, Memories Off, in 1999, a fairly unremarkable and middle-of-the-road all-ages bishoujo game, but nonetheless served as the gateway for Uchikoshi to take on larger and larger writing roles. Uchikoshi would contribute to multiple sequels to Memories Off, as well as similar bishoujo titles such as Close to Inori no Oka, but would really come into his own with the Infinity series, where he served as the main scenario writer in collaboration with series director Takumi Nakazawa. The Infinity games would forge a distinct identity for themselves, with their juxtaposition of the conventional bishoujo game framework against perplexing mystery narratives, increasingly of the foreboding and occult variety. The Infinity series began with the time travel centric Never 7, The End of Infinity in 2000, which unfortunately faltered sales wise. However, the game's more sci fi heavy and emotionally weighty sequel, Ever 17, The Out of Infinity in 2002, served as an ample counterbalance, frequently hailed as delivering one of the most stellar and profound narratives in all of gaming upon its release. Finally, Remember 11, The Age of Infinity in 2004, closed out the trilogy and completed the transition into the realm of pure sci-fi mystery, eschewing all dating sim elements. Soon after its release, Studio Kid would declare bankruptcy, leaving behind an attempted spin-off of the Infinity series with 12 Riven in 2008, with Uchikoshi returning to provide the scenario. Uchikoshi departed Kid in 2004, living the freelance life for several years before joining studio Chunsoft in 2007. Chunsoft had long since established themselves as pioneers of the medium in the early 90s with horror mystery sound novels Otogiriso and Kamaitachi no Yoru, but had recently grown keen on reaching a broader audience. Uchikoshi's proposed solution was to incorporate more demanding interactive gameplay elements, specifically in the form of puzzles, giving birth to the Zero Escape series beginning with Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors, also known as 999, released aptly in 2009. Uchikoshi served as director and scenario writers, while Jiro Ishii, known for directing 2008's meticulously shot live-action crime thriller 428 Shibuya Scramble, took on the role of producer. 999 unfortunately underperformed sales-wise in Japan, However, it had been localized for English-speaking audiences in 2010 and went on to become an unexpected sleeper hit outside of Japan, 
and would be widely credited as one of the pioneering titles to prove out the viability of the visual novel medium in the West, alongside the likes of, for instance, the Ace Attorney series. Its success overseas compelled Uchikoshi to develop a sequel, Virtue's Last Reward, in 2012. Similar to 999, VLR flopped domestically, but managed to kick up quite a bit of attention, both critically and commercially, outside of Japan. While Chunsoft decided to abort the franchise due to continued poor domestic sales, grassroots campaigns such as Operation Bluebird, spearheaded by the fiery and passionate overseas fanbase, directly enabled the resurrection of the series' development, and Uchikoshi returned to close out the trilogy with the release of Zero Time Dilemma in 2016. In the meantime, Uchikoshi had been keeping busy with numerous gigs, penning the scenario Abduction Across Three Worlds for Steins Gate Linear Bounded Phenogram in 2013, scripting the ambitious, trippy, and highly experimental anime project Punchline by Studio MAPPA in 2015, and developing the original concept for the anime The Girl in Twilight in 2018. It was around this time that Uchikoshi bid farewell to Chunsoft, now known as Spike Chunsoft, and founded the independent video game studio Two Kyo Games, together with Danganronpa creator Kazutaku Kodaka, composer Masafumi Takada, and his Infinity series collaborator Takumi Nakazawa. As of this recording, Uchikoshi is still at Two Kyo Games, in the role of director and scenario writer, and contributing to multiple animation and game projects, such as the action-adventure side-scroller Worlds In Club, kicking off a series of collaborations between himself and Kodaka. In 2019, Uchikoshi, still making his occasional rounds in the Spike Chinsoft scene, wrote and directed the much more streamlined and accessible detective adventure game, I, the Somnium Files, a cerebral sci-fi murder mystery, and would return to provide the scenario for its sequel, subtitled Nirvana Initiative, three years later in 2022, bringing us to where we are now. Uchikoshi's creative inspirations include American game designer Steve Jackson, Japanese sci-fi author Hoshi Shinichi, philosophical canons such as Tertium Organum, which heavily influenced Ever-17, and many Western sci-fi writers and academics, naming Rupert Sheldrake, Kurt Vonnegut, and Isaac Asimov, specifically in the context of the Zero Escape series. As far as visual novel inspirations, we have, of course, 1983's perennial detective adventure The Portopia Serial Murder Case, and Hiroyuki Kano's groundbreaking 1998 sci-fi odyssey, Yuno, known for establishing the branching parallel world mechanism as a hallmark of the medium. The two games, and games of its ilk, influenced his creative sensibilities even as far back as Never 7, where he yearned to imbue his writing with sci-fi and exploratory elements, but was instead forced to emphasize the safe and traditional romance aspects of bishoujo games, something that, as previously hinted at, he was eventually given clearance to stray further and further away from as the Infinity series evolved. Uchikoshi's philosophy when it comes to crafting a compelling narrative is to deliver something that is emotionally charged and resonant, as even stimulation of unpleasant emotions is preferable over something that is dull, hollow, and forgettable. As for how he develops his colorful cast of characters, he emphasizes the ambiguity behind who they are, their sordid, checkered pasts, ensuring that these individual micro-mysteries feed into the larger mystery of the overarching story in a complementary manner, an approach that meshes well with his belief that the main narrative should hold highest priority. On this topic, he makes frequent references to the Enneagram of personality when initially conceptualizing the structure of a game's central cast. Another one of Uchikoshi's trademarks is his penchant for clever perspective tricks, exploiting the unique first-person viewpoint offered by the medium of visual novels and adventure games, a technique he credits to feedback provided by players after the release of Memories Off, as they had indelibly reinforced the point that the protagonist in visual novels is merely a representation of the player themselves and nothing more. This has led to astoundingly effective and memorable plot twists that accompany the climax of a game's central narrative. Despite an impressively lengthy arsenal of successful and fastidious scripts, efforts, and experiments already under his belt, Uchikoshi's innovative juices show no signs of running dry. Two Kyo's myriad of projects have begun to kick into high gear, and the alignment couldn't be more perfect, as VNs and adjacent indie adventure game-esque titles continue to gain more traction and visibility outside of Japan day after day, 
giving his eclectic handiwork a very comfortable foothold in the international market. Whatever bold and imaginative ideas Uchikoshi has on the roadmap for two Kyo games and beyond, from more mind-bending kinetic mystery thrillers to 90s pop idol adorned escape rooms to cryptic alternate reality games unfolding across social network platforms, it's safe to say that those of us in the visual novel sphere all too eagerly await with bated breath.